Previously, we were building health systems that were built on uh, the government taking charge, and therefore health was a public good. Um, in the 80s, we saw a beginning of change in attitude where the World Bank and IMF actually convinced the world that if you begin to build health systems through the public lens, it's not measurable, it's not possible, and therefore it becomes very expensive and uh, you need to find smarter ways in which you fund health systems. The health systems had to be managed through more efficient, effective, measurable ways. And these would be having the governments pull out of funding the health systems, such that the public expenditure on the health systems drastically goes down. They build interventions on health systems under projects. These projects would have targets, would have years. They would have when they are beginning and when they are ending. Now that's very different from a health system because the health system never starts and never ends. And these projects come not to build the system, but rather to have a targeted number of people they want to reach and have a targeted uh, uh, sort of disease that they want to deal with. So you give people the treatment, but then the health workers that are working on them as part of the system are not prioritized. The facilities where these people are coming are not prioritized because the projects are bringing money to target diseases and provision of commodities as opposed to building systems. Donors are continuously influencing the amount of money that is getting into the system. The government can't dictate where that money goes. Even when the governments have um, evidence on what would actually work. But all the time we are fighting things as a crisis because we are not funding the health systems. And the priorities that are being set are not our priorities. And therefore governments need to wake up and understand that. In my view, the future of the health systems is defined by the choices that we make. I think we have clear evidence that the structure adjustment programs did not give us the desired results. In fact, there have been apologies by those that fronted the structure adjustment programs. They affected social sectors like health clearly. What we are seeing is that the structure adjustment projects or programs are now being changed and coiled into other languages. They are, for instance, telling us that our health systems must be resilient. Resilience means you must be ready to fight the challenges that you're getting. In fact, resilience doesn't help us build the health systems. In the same way, we are seeing calls where they are telling us that the private sector must be brought on board. If you make a political choice to invite the private sector to actually take role and you do not regulate the private sector, the future is not the best. If you do not begin to prioritize your health systems to be budgeted in the public income, in the taxation, it's going to be a problem. So the prediction is very clear. I think if we do not listen and make political choices that are going to continue relying on donor money, political choices that are going to rely on priority setting done by foreign people, it's going definitely going to be a big, big problem. Respect for human rights is very important. I think if we do not pursue the human rights best approaches, we are going to miss out on a lot of opportunities because the human rights best approaches build the confidence that we, the people have actually lost in the health systems. So the choice is ours. The future is only dependent on the political choices that we make. The evidence has been provided.